explosive speed like like uh, Bruce Lee did. Bruce Lee was famous for his extraordinary speed and strength. Among his many impressive achievements, his kicks stood out the most due to their speed and accuracy. Or come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start that something, and then come back. <laughs> All right. In martial arts, speed can be a game changer, and Bruce Lee took this to a higher level. Based on our research on his speed, the Hong Kong film industry reported that they had to increase the camera speed from 24 frames per second to 36 frames per second so that viewers could clearly see Lee's kicks and punches in movies. Another source is the famous kung fu actor Hung Kam Po. This close friend of Bruce Lee said that Bruce's foot was already in his face by the time he wanted to kick Bruce first. Jesse Glover, a 14-time judo champion and Bruce Lee's first American student, also provided a testimony. He stated that Lee had a punch speed of 0.05 seconds from a distance of 3 feet, which is approximately 40 Nazi Grand Prix. There was the finger jab, there was the punch, there was the back fist, and then low. Of course, then they used legs, straight at the ground, all come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start that something, and then come back. The fastest punch ever recorded was measured at a speed of 44 miles per hour. This record is held by Keith Little, a professional boxer. Thus, Bruce Lee's punch was slightly slower than the current world record. For comparison, Ricky Hayton, who has been praised for his hand speed, has a punch speed of 32 miles per hour, which is much faster than the average boxer's punch speed. Back in a minute, just hit him, please, Ricky. <laughs> However, Bruce Lee had a famous punching technique. It was a powerful and terrifying punch that he could deliver from just one inch away. This moment is captured in one of his old videos circulating online. Such a punch seems impossible for an ordinary human. Typically, when someone punches, they pull their fist back a significant distance before striking. Punching from such a close range is like jumping very high without bending down first. Comparable to his extraordinary punching ability, Bruce Lee also had lightning-fast kicking speed. Imagine this. Bruce Lee could kick a 135-pound heavy bag and send it flying 17 feet into the air. Additionally, his sidekick could launch a 330-pound heavy bag across the room. In one video, Bruce Lee is seen throwing a 200-pound man, even with protective padding, with his powerful kick. In another instance, a thin man was kicked so hard that he was sent crashing through a wooden wall by Lee's sidekick. Not only were his kicks powerful, but they were also incredibly fast. Bruce Lee could kick six times in one second with his signature moves. At first, many might think it's just a kick but it turns out to be a combination of punches and kicks. How often do you see this combination in martial arts championships? Quite often, perhaps. But Bruce Lee performed it at an entirely higher level. Not yet. First, 
because of shooting schedule and all that, I mean, he cannot have it on a regular basis. For someone the size of Bruce Lee, who stood at just 5 feet 6 inch and weighed 380 pounds, he was incredibly strong. According to an article on grunge.com, Bruce Lee had a record punch strength of 350 pounds, comparable to Muhammad Ali. Even more astonishing, Bruce Lee's weight was only half of Muhammad Ali's. On several occasions, Bruce Lee could deliver two punches in a fraction of a second. Why two punches? The first punch was intended as a feint to make the opponent reflexively defend and expose their weak points. The first punch was so fast that, although it couldn't be seen by the eye, its presence could be felt by the body, causing the opponent to react reflexively. At this point, the second punch aimed for the execution. Bruce Lee often used a double block technique in fights. The second block by Bruce Lee's left hand was performed simultaneously with a strike to the opponent's neck using his right hand. This technique demonstrated Bruce Lee's extraordinary speed, allowing him to attack and defend simultaneously with very high efficiency. Therefore, Bruce Lee's kicking and punching speed was not just a myth, but a result of discipline, dedication, and innovative training methods. Bruce Lee was far ahead of his time in terms of martial arts philosophy and his dedication to training and physical improvement. His strict commitment and discipline in training gave him impressive speed and power in his punches and kicks, which continue to amaze and inspire people to this day. Bruce Lee's speed resulted from a rigorous and exhausting training program. Lee trained his kicks and punches by wearing weights on his wrists and ankles. He continuously worked on increasing his training speed while wearing these additional weights. When the weights were removed, the muscles accustomed to working harder with the extra load could produce much faster and more powerful movements. A photo circulating on the internet reveals Bruce Lee's workout journal from 1965, detailing various strength and muscle building exercises he routinely performed every day. This dedication made Bruce Lee a phenomenon in the martial arts world, with the ability to strike at speeds almost invisible to the human eye. Despite his incredible speed, Bruce Lee only holds one title in the Guinness Book of Records. The most video game appearances by a martial artist in real life. So far, Bruce Lee has starred in 13 video games. Outside of Guinness World Records, Lee holds several unofficial, unbreakable titles. These include breaking a 100 LB sandbag, generating 1,600 pounds of force with nunchaku, performing 1,500 consecutive push-ups, 400 with one hand, 200 on two fingers, and 100 on his thumb.